She's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. You need a coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. How much do you need? Maybe I can lend you the coin. Thank you, Geralt, but I refuse to take a single crown from you. You know what they say. It's never easy. Fastest way to lose a friend is to loan him some coin. But a favor? That's different. What kind of favor? I dated this girl once. Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father. Importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Dear would never refuse his daughter Dear a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? You know, I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena. One of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What will you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Fine, right. but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena, and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Ah, finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes, if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Can I use Axie on her? Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say <laughs> during the performance. Here, Andromas, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But. No time! Sophronia is coming! Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? Criminal what scum. Is this? Help! Save me! Tremble. Flaxen haired wench. Bow before the Prince of Thieves. Bow. Not so fast. <laughs> Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. <laughs> Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson <sighs> Avenger. 
<laughs> More like Crimson House. <laughs> Crimson Avenger. Silence, Vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. You're better than I thought. I'm supposed to let him beat me up, right? Pathetic. Is he actually gonna? Oh. I've been hit. Ow! To the house quickly. He shan't get us there. Eternal fire. What do you want from us? Leave us be. Do I have another line? This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? <laughs> Run! <laughs> There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's rearing to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peached. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Wait, why me? Why are you asking me? Just wait for him. Well, the lovely lady seems to be having a hard time deciding. And Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. But that he'd let us know just as soon as we arrived. Now we are here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? No. Oh, it's not for me. Now would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Get up. You've known him longer. Say something. Uh... I don't... Just... No, it's for her. She should decide. Sure, I've known him longer, but he's never so much as changed his socks for me. Never mind commissioning a full-blown renovation. He's doing this for you, clearly. You should decide. Mm. Both our lives have I would have gone with stage. the theater as well. Cabra is a form of theater. In a way, fine. Let's do the theater decor. I certainly hope it'll be to his liking. A wonderful choice it is. At last, As. gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Stop. Jeez. Well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action, and so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. I'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? God. Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. True enough. And here's to the principle that a life enjoyed is a life well lived. You need mock. I'm not. I mean that. Nothing wrong with the principle. Dandelion just knows how to enjoy life. It's a good thing. Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. 